hello internet welcome to another microprocessor tutorial in today's tutorial we are going to study sub routines the study of sub routines is supremely important if we want to become proficient in microprocessor programming uh, first things first in microprocessor terminology the main program that microprocessor executes is known as a routine so whenever we talk about the main function that microprocessor is running or executing it is a routine for the microprocessor and anything um, that microprocessor branches from the main program or if it if it takes a halt from the main program and goes elsewhere to perform a small little task and comes back to perform the main program again will be known as a sub routine a sub routine is a small little program that is stored elsewhere where the microprocessor goes and does the task and that task is by the way uh, a repetitive task during the execution of the main program a microprocessor may need to go to that subroutine many a times so that is what the idea of subroutine is but in in context with AT85 how do we study the flow of execution of subroutines is what we are focusing today so in context with AT85 Subroutines are executed using call and return instruction. Now, please, uh, please understand that call instruction is 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 like a branch instruction. The format of the call instruction is something like this, like call twenty four hundred H after the call instruction you specify the address location where you would want your microprocessor to go to perform a small little task known as a subroutine but what happens in the background when a call instruction is executed and what happens when the subroutine finishes a task and comes back to the main program is what we'll study now now call instruction is a three byte instruction as we can see and it points to a memory location and every call instruction will will accompanied will be accompanied by a return instruction in the subroutine so i'll i'll draw a flow chart of this for example, your main programs is starting from 2000H and at 200AH you find call 2400H instruction. So call being a 3 byte instruction would take up 2000A, 2000B, 2000C and then 2000DH will be the normal flow of the main program again. So this program is one such program which is calling the subroutine at this location. So we'll go to this location where some small little program will be written and it's a very small program it ends at 2409H but the termination of this subroutine this is by the way subroutine and this is our main program 
call will take us here and return will bring us back here immediate to the call instruction but how now before the call instruction is executed and microprocessor microprocessor branches itself to the subroutines location it takes help of the stack pointer register now for example my stack pointer register has uh, a b c d stored in it so what it will do now is the contents of the program counter will calculate the address of the next location of the call instruction for example the address of the next location after the call instruction is 200d so the stack is starting at a b c d stack pointer will be decremented by 2 and this next location where microprocessor has to come back from return because return would need the address of the immediate next location where stack ended so we'll need to safely store this immediate next location to the stack so now a b c d will be stored in stack by the way if you do not uh, fully understand the functioning of stack pointer and stack uh, area then you could uh, see my previous video where I talk about stack pointer and stack it is decremented by 2 now and the next value of stack will become a b c b when call is executed once 200d from the program counter gets stored into stack the address from the call instruction 2400 gets stored into program counter that will eventually cause the microprocessor to go to this location to execute whatever is there in the subroutine now please understand the steps again step number one we calculate the immediate next address after the call instruction so the immediate next address is 200d because call is a 3 byte instruction you can easily calculate the next uh, instructions location so you need to safely store this to stack and then you need to move the address to program counter so that it goes to subroutine and once subroutine is executed then return is executed automatically and return uh, is similar to pop instruction so it is analogous to pop instruction yeah. it pops the thing and from the stack and it pops the thing into the program counter register so return is analogous to pop PC so it will take two bytes from the top of the stack and it will put it into the program counter so that microprocessor will now start executing the main program again from the position where it left it so during the course of all this microprocessor could execute all the things which were written in the main program 
until it was instructed to go to a subroutine to perform a small little task like putting a delay or outputting it to some port etc and then subroutine itself has the manners and and the courtesy to take back the process to the main program and it starts executing it again so that is how subroutines work in microprocessor the instructions used are call and return three byte instruction call and return is a one byte instruction but it has many uh, machine cycles uh, if you want to uh, dig deep into machine cycles and uh, all that stuff you could see my other video where I talk about it and I hope this quick tutorial on subroutines in microprocessor 8085 was of some help and if you like uh, the videos in this series please consider subscribing to the channel you have a good day good life ahead I'll see you around bye